brought to you by Gospel of God's Grace Ministries, bringing hope to the hopeless. We are still talking about the Gospel of Christ Jesus. You know, God wants to help the church, or should I say, God is helping the church concerning the confusion that is all around regarding the Gospel. There are so many gospels. And it's even confusing. We don't know which one to get or to take. Or which one to believe. And which one not to believe. You shall know the truth. What shall you know? And the truth shall that is the revelation of Jesus for me the truth is God's word he said I am the way the truth and the life the truth is simply the introduction of who I cannot hear the church. Christ Jesus. And you can only introduce Christ through the gospel. Say, I can only introduce Christ through the gospel. Yes. And the scripture says, You shall know the truth. You shall know Christ Jesus. Introduced through the gospel. And you shall be set free. Nobody who comes to the knowledge of Christ Jesus remains bound. Are you hearing me? Nobody, nobody. All those who know the truth. All those who know Jesus. And all those of whom Jesus is introduced to them through his witnesses the messengers of the gospel can continue bound in prison because the truth sets free Jesus liberates tell your neighbor say neighbor the truth sets free Jesus liberates. Mm. It is impossible for anyone to come to the knowledge of Christ and remains in bondage. And when I say bondage, not just physical, but spiritual, you shall be free. Jesus did not just enter the church to speak. But Jesus understood that the most effective way to witness for God was through the word and by works. After he preached, gave them the teachings, and they were amazed. He started to liberate those who were in bondage in the very church. The gospel of Christ does not turn the church to mere philosophers. Counting from this scripture to that other one, to that other one. But the gospel of Christ is in words and in deeds. What you say, you shall do. Because your job as a Christian is to talk about the Lord, whom you are connected with, shall do. When you 
When he said be healed, God shall heal. When he said be delivered, God shall deliver. When you say I'm blessed as a child of God, God shall bless you. When you say I'm saved, God, your father will save you. He will do the work of salvation. So bomb that you have received the gospel of Christ is liberty. If you are not free, but loaded with scriptures, you are as good as nothing. Are you free? If you are not free, the gospel you receive is questionable. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is the word okay, the folk. that Jesus preached. But behind the word he preached, I symbolize God's power. Are you hearing? Already say when you speak the word, then how will the without God's power? This word remains dormant. Suspended. Are you hearing? But after you speak, there must be power from above that backs up your way. That power shall push every way from your mouth to come to pass. If you spoke salvation, God's power will push your right in order for salvation to occur. Are you hearing? If you spoke healing, God's power will push your right for healing to come to pass. So whether healing like it or not, because of the power of God, healing shall happen, deliverance shall happen, breakthrough shall happen, salvation shall come to pass. I don't know if you are hearing what I'm saying. So that is why to so true messengers of the gospel, there is no stubborn demon, there is no stubborn problem, there is no incurable disease, there is no incurable Satan. Everything is possible for him who believes. If you believe, everything is possible for you. Because every word you talk, there shall be power from above that shall push it to come to pass. Every prophecy that you give, it doesn't matter. It may seem impossible to take place, but because there is power from above that is on the account, that prophecy shall come to pass, shall come to pass, shall come to pass. Shall come to pass. Jesus. Yes. Somebody says the gospel of Christ. Say it is powerful. Say it is effective. Say it can move every mountain. It can level every hill. For my sake. Brought to you by Gospel of God's Grace Ministries. Bringing hope to the hopeless. The grace of God is sufficient for you.